Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome along to another V Recordings podcast. It's the last one for the year. Sorry, it's a bit late, but um, the studio was booked up, but we managed to get in. It's Tuesday, the 3rd of December. Brian Jet, the controls for another two hours, maybe even more. Got so much stuff to play for you on. And it's the end of the year, so let's make it a big one. Kicking off with this one, phase two, VIP, come with me. From the album Reshape, Liquid V out now. Into this something brand new forthcoming on Liquid V, Carlito and Addiction, Sunshine. Forthcoming from Row Pieces. Giving you um, an exclusive as well. I'm going to give you two cuts right about now. San Torenzo. Bad Boy Liquid Vibes album from Row Pieces. Watch out for this in the new year. Liquid Gold for sure. Every time we'd roll, big up. Yeah. 
to her stature. Another track everyone's asking about. Trust me, it's coming real, real soon. Mr. Joseph and Ilmatica. That's how it's gonna be. I already know you. Watch out for this dropping on Liquid V. Early in the new year with a bombastic video as well. Love opened up like the Red Sea. That's my monomy. Skin deep mahogany. Already blessed with finesse so mentally. Step to her melody. Shade to them other G's. DMB soul brother. Cool like summer breeze. Summer breeze. Summer breeze. Time for two, featuring DRS, kicking off with this one, produced by a critical Dobby, acting too much. Too much of your heart Maybe I'm asking too 
Gotta say shouts going out to Chimpo, Strategy and Dub Physics. Rolled out with them on Saturday night at the Chase and Status drum shed, drum, sh- drum shed party, which was crazy. I'll try and tell you a bit more about that later on. Also, shouts going out to Genergy. Who I saw in the week. Also, shouts going out to everyone I saw down at the warehouse project every day, every day. a couple of weeks ago um, I did a back to back to back with Dai and Jumping Jack Frost shouts sh- sh- going out to Will Mark XTC Scott from Ram Rene Levice Ariat from Ram Ariat Jackson or maybe the and everyone um, saw down it was really brief in and out obstacles in the way but it was fun, yeah. Big up all the crew that was down there as well. That was a sick party. DRS and the Vanguard Project. Every day. Not forgetting MC Dynamite. And DJ Die, yeah? Good to see you guys. Love it when DRS rolls it out with a vocalist. It kind of reminds me of when I was listening to hip hop uh, back in the day. Obstacles in the way. And then you'd have Nate Dog just jumping in on um, and on some of the rappers' tunes. Probably most of the West Coast tunes. They used to be rolling out, and then you'd have Nate Dog just coming in and spitting his verse. And that's what this kind of shit reminds me of. Love it. And maybe pointing fingers isn't how we place the blame, or maybe we're just searching for a place to stay. Every day, every day, obstacles in the way Happiness has to be paid for when led astray Creating with all these pitfalls can take it strain If money's something you live for, then make it rain
Yeah, just had some new shit from the beat. Merchants, touch me, tease me. Party's over here for real. V Recordings Podcast, December, Brian G. Getting ready for the party. It's party time, let's go. Three tracks all produced by Command Strange. Just had Command Strange on the remix for KC and Astro. Underneath us now, something from his brand new release. This is Locker. Like a rough diamond, do timing, dues paid, man, get made, once rolls are played. 
VIP business, take the rain. Come on, strange TRAC. Watch out for this dropping sooner on the new in the new year from the MC Track Remix Project. you feel out there vibes are plenty into this one brand new forthcoming from Danny Wheeler a more liquid V business this is waves shout out going out to Danny and all the crew on the west side or the W10 massive
were doing all kinds of other things, but I had, had learned how to put it all in sync and make it move and have a flow to it. from the forthcoming future album. I said I'm going to be definitely dropping this album on you in February. I've had, um, I think about three number ones so far. So I'm buzzing and um, one number two. So we've only released four tracks of it and three of them have been number one. So you know what we're talking about. You know how we're going on with this album. Trust me. No fillers. Strictly big boys. And this is one of them, yeah? Move and flow from Zero T. Gotta say, shouts going out to uh, use Kian. I think, um, where was it? A couple of weeks ago, I saw you down at Swerve. Also, watch out for the next Swerve happening at the same place over in King's Camden, right next to Camden Tube Station. And it's gonna be on the 27th of December. We were doing all kinds of other things, but I had, had learned how to put it all in sync and make it move and have a flow to it. Once again, the sounds of Zero T, Move and Flow, forthcoming from the Future Album. Into this, another cut from the Future Album. I said it's going to be definitely out in February. I know it's been taking a long time, but um, we've been trying to just make sure it's the best that we could give you. And I think, um, yeah, I dug deep on this one. And we might have a classic album. Yeah, I think we got, as I said, three number ones already off it. One number two. And that's only four tracks so far released. Here's another cut from it. This is Carlito and Addiction. And a track entitled Funk the DJ.
that last track was um, Jazz Cigarette, yeah? Paul S.G. and Carter smoking those funny fags again. Jazz Cigarette, the VIP. And that's another cut from the Liquid V reshaped album. Gotta send this one out, this next one here, to everyone who came down to the Planet V warehouse party in Bermondsey a couple of weeks ago. Nice little tidy gaff for um, all the South London Eds. Proper warehouse style as well, yeah. By the look of the toilet, <laughs> you knew you was going back in the day toilet oh, warehouse style. It is what you get, man. It's what it says on the tin, warehouse. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, we loved it, man. Shouts going out to all the DJs, Jumping Jack Frost, who came down and rolled it out. Also, Paul T. I'm not forgetting Una. Not forgetting the bad boy who made this track here. Slater, S-L-8-R, smashed up the place as well. Got there late, but you were the talk of the night. Everyone was like, it's all about Slater. He owned the night. Wow. So I can't wait to listen back to the sets, which um, we're going to be uploading very soon. Also, shouts going out to all the MCs that repped. Ilmatica, Funstar, MC Foxy, good to see ya. Not forgetting Skiba. Also, um, big shout going out to Shy FX, who um, passed through. And he definitely was on a vibe, man. Like, I played a track and Shy just kind of jumped on my back and just like uh, rewound it. And it kind of reminded me back, um, back in the days when we used to do movement at Bar Rumba. And I remember Shy came down there one week to play and he had uh, a bag of dubs from his brand new album. No one haven't heard anything yet. It was just all brand new dub plates. Fresh, all tracks from his brand new album. And um, this was the first time anyone was going to hear him. And he dropped them all at Bar Rumba. And I remember jumping on his back and scratching his neck up. So um, I think he just returned the favour and jumped on my back and scratched me up. And it was all good. Anyway, so... um. Big up everyone that was in the place as well. Anna, Leah, all the faces that was down there. We're definitely going to be trying to do that one again, yeah? As I said, this one, Slater, S L A T R, forthcoming on the next Chronic Rollers album, which is actually compiled and going to be mixed by the man himself, Slater, yeah? That's going to be dropping in the new year. Going to feature some more tracks throughout the show from the album.
rolled out one of my favorite cuts from the liquid v reshaped album that's out now that we've been featuring as well played a couple of tracks so far already another one of my favorites that was probably one of my favorites night traffic and that was the simplification remix originally done by duo science which was a firm favorite of mine as well into another track from reshaped liquid v maca and lars vip Trotting. Featuring track Spinning Flow logic That's all the feeling Enterprising Yeah Goals acquired Yeah Spirits rising Bones fire Flow trotting Flow spinning Flow logic That's all the feeling Ent- Old time we go back in time Quiet Yeah Spin- Straight after this one Bones fire Bones fire, peep through sounds for a cause of escape Words go leaps and bounds with flowing over a break Such is the way, but I'm telling you to keep the faith Keep the faith Hey yeah, hey yeah, now Let it rain Bones fire Let it rain Yeah, it's that time. Time to go back in time. This this time, this month, we ain't really going that far back in time. But we're going back to the early 2000s. We're going abroad to um, Austria, to Vienna. And pay respect this month to one of my good friends from way back when. And good to see he's back again, DK. We're gonna roll out 
about five, six, seven, maybe, of my favorite DK tracks. Kicking off this one. Badass tune. This is Waxed. Let's go. If you don't know, time to get to know. DK. This is something he done alongside DJ Lee. V Recordings Podcast and we're going back in time this month it's all about DK kicking off with two tracks that he rolled out with DJ Lee this one as well this is Desire I think this one came out on Metal Edge Records another sick track
And if you didn't know, I'm sure you recognize these beats and thought, rah! I didn't know that was li- that was him because I'm, these beats get lashed out everywhere. Especially this. Big tune. Tune in. Another DK and Lee roll out. Massive one as well. Shouts going out to DJ Lee. Walk one. Such a wicked rhythm. Tune in, DJ Lee and the mighty DK out of Vienna, Austria. And that's why we're focusing on this month's back in the day old school selection. Gonna roll out about six. And out of the, all of the great tracks that DK did, and trust me, he did some wicked tracks. And now there's two more that I'm going to play after this that I just eye up in my favourite DK tracks. But this little bootleg that he did probably is my favourite. Track and title, The Greatest Love. One of those feel-good, spiritual kind of uplifting rollouts that um, we used to love back in the days to smash this one up movement. When bootlegs were proper bootlegs. And special when they came. They weren't just coming every second of the day. When people did a bootleg, it was just like every now and again. And they were good. Now, uh, man's bootlegging everything, man. Anything they can get their hands on. Let me rinse this out. See if I can get number one. <laughs> it wasn't about that back then. It was just interpreting something that you liked into DMB. 
but I now think people are interpreting things to try and get to number one or something like that. Get an easy roll up, get an easy rewind. Come on, guys. You're better than that. Gotta send this note to every one of you out there. Sending big love to all my junglers, all my DMB heads out there. Big love. We love you all. Rhythm. <laughs> Love this one. could forget this one anyone anywhere another track he rolled out with DJ Lee proper vibes on this one wicked
Yes, shouts going out to everyone who didn't know about DK before, because he's probably one of those artists that he ain't on social media all that much and um, kind of took a bit of time off and um, he's from abroad and stuff, so maybe he didn't even know, ooh, whatever, but um, I'm sure after all hearing all these tunes, you've been out and you're like, right, I know this tune, yeah, I've heard this tune, or I love this tune. So um, it's good to just kind of make you guys know who are, who are responsible for those beats that um, when you're out of your face jumping up and going crazy and getting home and thinking who did that tune or trying to buy it you're like oh, I mean it went like boom 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 bam 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 and like oh, sorry can't help you so we, that's what we're trying to do here and let you know some of the history of the music as well and um, before um, before I did the podcast I managed to catch up with DK and um to find out what he was up to and um he sent me a, a message to um tell you guys about uh, just a bit about himself because i'm sure a lot of you don't a lot probably some of you know about dk but a lot of you probably don't never heard of him before and um he said a uh, little note from him which um he says yeah he said he started off making music on one of the cheapest samplers that he could um get when he was 17 years old said he started to get into djing around about the same time and then I uh, made lots of shitty tunes. <laughs> but finally, he said he got a release on Moving Shadow on a compilation put together by Dom and Roland. And then from there, he progressed. I think that probably gave him a kick up the ass. And um, he started to make better tunes. And then when Logic came along with um, better software and sampler, etc., he managed to um, make better tunes and put more tunes out with people like Dylan, Loxy and Ink. And then the big, big, big break come. I, I was there at the time because um, he used one of our boys to make this big, big tune. And um, I, I can't believe I haven't got it with me. But he, um, he he linked up with DJ Fresh and he made Barcelona, yeah? So um, yeah, I'm sure you all know Barcelona and with MC Stamina. And it went to number one in the charts. And um, yeah, that kind of like blew him up. And from then he kind of um, continued got more DJ work he said and then he um yeah 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 yes. after Barcelona he kind of did some more stuff on 31 records on Metalheads and Solar also Hardware with DJ Lee and then he said um he took a break from it all after a decade he said of going at it hard smashing it so um, he said he had to take a break so that's where DK was because we're kind of all wondering what's happened to DK is he whatever but he said he took a break because he was kind of burnt out and he had to just kind of like recharge his batteries and stuff like that so um, and he went on to make some different music and learn more about production etc um, nowadays there is so much production techniques that's you know it enthralled him and he just wanted to find out more about different music but um, these days he says he's back making that classical style DMB liquid style and um, playing some energetic parties but musical sets for the connoisseurs yeah so um he's still back and um between me and you as well he's just done um a remix for us for our mc track album so that's going to be coming on the mc track remix album but i'm going to finish off with another one of my favorite dk tracks It's something he did with DJ Lee. I should have done DJ Lee and <laughs> D track um, DK actually, because um nearly all the tracks it was, was with DJ Lee. Sorry about that. Just um just rolling them out and realizing Lee's kinda on nearly all of them. Big up Lee! Not forget you know. I'll give you on little rollout soon, yeah? Anyway, another one of my favorites. I think this one came out on Solar Records. R.I.P. Marcus. Tracky title, It's On The Way. I know you'll remember and love this one. So once again, shouts going out to DK. We salute you this month on the V Recordings podcast for some badass music here. Yeah? And we can't wait for more, D. So hopefully we'll hear from you in the new year with some more selection, fresh selection. Next month, we do it again. 
it could be yours. Hit me up, let me know what you want to hear. V Forever on Twitter or DJ Brian G on Facebook and Insta. of DK Solar Records gotta say once again shouts going out to the Manchester crew everyone who I saw down at the Warehouse project a couple of weeks ago Wilf big up Wilf yeah also Mark X to see watch out for some bangers dropping on Chronic from Mark and Bo also once again shouts going out to Scott from Ram Rene Levi's from Ram Ariat from Ram. Also, shouts going out to DJ Die, Dynamite, Tink Tonk, Jenna. I said strategy, Chimpa, Trigger. Up physics. Brown Tinder, man. Let me take this one from the top. Right, this is something I don't even usually do on the podcast. Jacking up tunes, yeah. This is a sound system, Tim. But when a tune's like this sweets me like this, man, it's got to be done. And this tune's personal. Trust me. When I heard the vocals in this track, I was like, Oh my God, what's going on here, man? You're taking me right back to when I was a little child, man. Growing up, listening to some D Brown. And the way they rolled it out, oh my, oh child, this, this, this is emotional, this one. It makes me cry. And the way I go on just for you. No, but you not play about. Gotta send this one out to singing fats. And the way I go on just for you. Also Cleveland. Come and let me rock you. All night long, long, long. Oh, 
Gotta send this one out to Simon Baseline and all the Technique drum sound crew. Had mad fun over in Nottingham at the box for their 20 years and the way I go on just for you. of Technique Records launch party. That was wicked. Know the tune I play about you. Managed to see my sister in the morning as well, stopped her in Nottingham. And the way I go on just for you. Let's say big up going out to Fearless. Come and let me rock you all night long. a big, big chill. Send this one out to everyone who was at the butter market for the V Recordings party with myself and Dillinger a couple of weeks down there in Shrewsbury. <laughs> for two back to back from Need for Mirrors kicking off with this this one here taken from the reshaped Liquid V reshaped album yeah pure killer tunes this is the Son of Sorrow VIP Big Up Moses
This one brand new, forthcoming. Need for Mirrors, L Side. No, no. Resist. Mirrors to L side to L side. This is the track from his next single alongside the track we just played before with Need for Mirrors. It's gonna be uh, the next release from L side on V. This is Void. Let's go.
Yeah, we just had another track from the Chronic Rollers. That's going to be out next year on Chronic Records. That was Alibi. Tracking title Sentinel, yeah? Proper strip back, straight up dotty roller, yeah? Played that um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, smashed down that warehouse over in Bermondsey. Right, anyone got some sauce? My food feels a bit dry. Tastes a bit dry. We need some sauce. This is the source. Straight up rollers from Bristol and Oxford. I mean, you know, that's something you gotta eat up. I really want a lot of folks to eat that sauce up right there, you know what I mean? It's a whole lot of sauce in one big plate.
out into something well. We're going to play you two tracks now that are, are coming out on a new project that we're starting out V Recordings entitled The Legend Series, yeah? And what it is is we're going to be putting out some old, exclusive, wanted tracks from back in the day. But we're only going to put them out on vinyl for about 12 months. So the vinylist, it's, you know, it's giving back the vinylist something. You go, I feel sorry for you vinylists because you hardly get anything. <laughs> Everything is just digital. Sometimes it's not even digital, it's just stream. So you just, you guys sometimes really get left short. So we thought, ah, oh, <laughs> we're going to give something back to the vinylists. People who buy records still and don't really um, have no time for digital stuff, yeah? God, you guys are dinosaurs. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we're giving back something to you guys. So we're going to start the Legend series. And it's going to be like um, back in the day tunes that never got released before. And we're releasing them on vinyl for about 12 months, maybe even longer before they get onto digital. So you kind of got something that the, that the MP3 and digital boys ain't got. Until somebody leaks it. Anyway, this is Lemon D, Wu-Tang, the Lost Dub Mix. And we're going to follow up with uh, a cross track forthcoming on the Legend series. guide arm a very special one as well this coming sunday it's going to be a very special day for our um, drum and bass because we're going to take it back to the um the shrine the place where a lot of people will say was responsible for everything what we're doing right now in drum and bass yeah and um we got to res- pay respect to our two guys that were responsible for that fabio and groove rider they used to do a night called rage back in the day way back in the day before, before my back in the day selection anyway right because if it wasn't because of them there wouldn't be no back in the day on my show so right I gotta pay some respect to these guys they're doing a big party this coming Sunday at Rage of course Fabio and Groove Rider are gonna be there and some of the um, original Rage DJs as well like Trevor Fung Bushwaka Colin Dell and you got a live PA from Shades of Rhythm in room 2 you got Fabio and Groove Rider again they're going to be doing a 94 to 96 jungle set. You got myself, Brian G, Jumping Jack Frost as well, Storm, Kenny Ken, Gache, and Run. GQ, Ragga Twins, Five Alive, and Voice MC. And in the th- um, room three as well, you got Baseline Smith, Ray Keefe, SS, Digital Addiction. Alongside Felon and Blacker. That's this is gonna be a real special night, trust me. Um I'm really looking forward to it to see a lot of friends that I haven't seen from a long time, a lot of new friends, and just to be amongst that vibe again. It's gonna be special. This coming Sunday, the 8th of December, Charing Cross under the arches at Rage. We we'll do it again. Make sure you're there. You don't wanna miss out on this. It's gonna be like epic, yeah?
Shouts going out to Fabio Groove Ride, also Charlotte and everyone involved in this. Juice Man on the remix for DJ Cross and Trouble, not Trouble, Angus. Oh, it's getting me confused when he says Trouble. Trouble's a different tune. Anyway, like I was saying, this coming Sunday, man, it's going to be mad. It's going to be special. I'm getting there. Well, it's a daytime event anyway, so i got to get there early. It's a daytime event. I think I'm playing about 10 o'clock in the evening, though. It finishes at 12. But it's a daytime thing, and um, yeah, if you if you're about on in town on a Sunday next this coming Sunday the eighth, really try and come down there because it's going to be a real special night, and I think um these two properly deserved it. I know there's been a lot of Fabio and Groove Rider nights and blah blah, but this one's special, and um them guys deserve it because them guys have been hauling up this thing for a long time and still holding it up, man. So um mad mad respect going out to the Duns, my Duns. My daddy's Fabio and Groove Ride. I love you guys, yeah? So, um, I'm there with bells on it this coming Sunday at Heaven's Nightclub. You don't want to miss that, trust me. Another big, 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 big party happening this coming Saturday. And it's a daytime one as well, so I'll tell you about that in a little while, but let's roll out another track from the Future album, I said this album's gonna be dropping in February. And I can't wait to give it to you, man. It's like one of the best projects that I've put together for a long time. And I'm really proud of it. And I'm really hoping that you guys are gonna love it. We've had a couple of number ones off it, so it's looking good. And I want it to be an album that just leaves a mark with everybody. Like in years to come, people can say, yeah, remember when the Future album came out? That's how we used to look at albums. I remember all the albums like back in the day, Worm Old, Gold is Timeless, Ronnie Size uh, representing the mode, Planet V. You remembered where you were, what you were doing. You probably remember the clothes you were wearing at the time, you know? Albums kind of marked an era. Nowadays, you don't remember anything about when albums come out. You don't even know. Sometimes you don't even know. You, people say, yeah, my album come out. You go, did it? So I want to make an album that kind of leaves that mark again, the way we can say, yeah, remember when the future album come out. So watch out. This is Days, Benny L Remix.
Right, we just had L side on the remix for DJ Cross. That's at number one right now in Beatport. This is another L side remix from the future album. This is Dillinger's 30 Hertz L side remix. Watch out for this, another mad, crazy, badass remix from L side. Also, watch out for L side, he's going to be um, coming into the UK for a couple of weeks. In the last two weeks of February and the early part of March, he's going to be um, doing fabric with us and a few other parties. So if you want to grab L side for a booking, get us us now, man. Trust me, you need to get it. Listen here, you don't want to miss that. If you got a party happening anytime in February or March, L side's in town. You need to get at us because this man will murk up your place. Brapa! Anyway, 38 remix, Dillinger. L side on the remix. the remix for Dr. Mika is going to be the next single to be released from the future album. Should be out before Christmas as well. Banging remix. Quick. You didn't know I came with a 
Shadow Boxing, Doug Scott. Couple of mixes. Fourth coming, this is Benny L. So a big shout going out to everyone who was down in, um, was it Stourbridge? Stourbridge, um, just outside Birmingham. On Friday night, I went down to Stourbridge. Yeah, Stourbridge. In fact, first I got to say big up going out to everyone who was over in the West End at Paul Danner's um, party. That was wicked. Yeah, I said, um, myself, Jumping Jack Frost. Uno, and we had a special guest down there as well. Um, Runny Size rolled out. Also, Jamaica B, um, he turned up as well. Big shout going out to Paul. I love the venue as well, man. Um, Jakarta, right off Carnaby Street. Wicked venue. I said, I'm really plush. Sort of uh, make sure you dress up and look nice and fresh. You know what I mean? You want to go to them place there and you don't want to look shabby at all, right? It's in the heart of the West End and it's like one of them places where it's like all them, like you get celebrities popping in and models and just like people who want to be up in that sort of spot. You get what I'm saying? So it's all plush when I got in there, man. I was like really late. So I had to, um, only had an um, hour to play and then I had to run off to um, Stourbridge. When I got in there, Paul just brought me to a table with a, like loads and loads of drinks. I couldn't even... Like, I remember I'm a champagne, Prosecco, brandy, vodka, beer, water, juice, everything. I thought, I've only got an hour and I've got to get on the decks now and run out straight away. So I ain't going to get none of this. But um, yeah, it was just nice looking at it. <laughs> Thinking, wow, is that me? <laughs> but it wasn't because I didn't get any. Because I didn't have time for any. <laughs> so I just looked at it and thought, wow. Go on. Anyway, I got on the decks, did my thing. While I was DJing, um... Too Shy turned up and I, as I said, it was really funny. Too Shy and, and his Mrs. Zoe turned up. And everybody's all, you know, them sort of places like made in Chelsea kind of thing. Everybody's all dressed up, model looking, celebrities and all that. Drinking champagne and vodka, Grey Goose and all that. I turned around and I'm like, I thought I was in Carnation Street, not made in Chelsea. Because I saw like, um, Too Shy and Zoe drinking tea <laughs> I was like really <laughs> you guys drinking tea and they like look like they're just cold and just like <laughs> we don't care what's going on around us we're keeping it real and drinking tea <laughs> I love that moment that was just like I should have took a picture everyone drinking champagne looking bougie and there's Zoe and Tusha just <laughs> sipping on a hot brew <laughs> as you do <laughs> love you guys yeah big up good to see you guys as well Anyway, I'm um, chatting and running out of time as well. I said, um, we're going to go extra time, but overtime on this one. But no, I don't want to really take the piss. So let's keep it moving. 
Good to see Mumpy Swift last week around town as well. We can't even call him Mumpy. There's listen here. Slimline looking good, Mr. Swift. Girl them worries right about now. That's what I'm gonna call you. The girl them's trouble. Because right now when the girl them see you, they're in a trouble. They must say, boy, right now, you know. Can't you feel wet? <laughs> nah. Anyway, let's keep it clean. Big shout out that to Mumpy Swift, yeah. The new look Mumpy Swift, yeah, and I love it. Everybody loves it. You're looking good, son. Finally finished this album and um sent it to me over there a couple of days ago. Full of bangers, yeah. Big up Mumpy um. Should be probably out next year. I think it's called Tribute. Here's something you probably recognize on a VIP tip. Check this out. From Dread MC. Big shout going out to the Gloucester crew, yeah? My family, my crew, my people. Go on, Dreddy. If you're wicked and bad, all I wanna do is make the crowd Brand new from my boy Dread MC. No I'm not sure who's on the production on this. Boy this one is a sound boy killer. Love the drop on this one. But this one Proper brock out business. This one I go make your dance. This one I go make your brock out. This one I go make your brock out. This one heavy with the sound boy. Proper jungle feeling on that one. Talking about jungle. On Saturday, we returned to jungle. Yeah, that was, oh man, we returned to jungle. At, uh, the Chase and Status had a big party here in London. A brand new venue um, called the Drum Shed. Never been there before. I think it was the first time they did drum and bass there. This place was massive. Trust me, Armin. It's like, uh, it must have been about 10,000 people in there to raw serious and I was like and I was like raw because I was playing early I was playing like it was a daytime thing and I was playing like 3 30 to 4 30 so I thought why it's gonna be empty not empty but woo, right thin when I got there the place is full up already I was like raw me and GQ just battered the place man loved it 
Yeah. Man, I was like, what? I'd never seen a dance with so many DJs, like from DJ rap right and through, right till the end of the night. Everybody just wrapped up in a big cult while they're on stage. Yeah. Like, there was a big warehouse and it was kind of cold, but um, yeah, bro, yeah. the music kind of warmed me up. Blood so um, that was wicked vibe. Big shout going out to Chase and Status, man. I, I was uh, enraged. I said, it was just so good to see them because last time I saw Chase and Status, we were DJing together. I think it was like 206 in Australia. So I've seen them guys for like 15 years or something like that. And so it was just good to see, see Sol and the boys, man. And Rage, man. Uh, me and Rage had some wicked times in Puerto Rico and stuff. So we always have a laugh every time we see each other. That was wicked. And um, yeah, DJ Ron, the Manchester boys. I, I met Bo for the first time as well. I was like, Ross, clap, because the guy gave me this guy's giving me a number one tunes, giving me some tracks for Chronic Records. He's like the talk of the town right now. Everybody's loving what he's doing. And I was dying to meet him. So I managed to get to meet him. And um, yeah, the guy's so wicked. He's humble, man. He was just there, ch- was just there chatting. Then he just went onto the decks and just murked it in his big coat as well. He didn't even take his coat off. That's how bad boy he is, right? He had a big coat on. And some people might have to take their coat off to kind of like, yeah, let me just... Get, get get relaxed and get ready to roll out this set and just get loose. He had a big choky coat on, flinging his USB key and battered the dance. I was like, bad boy for real. So I'm um, big up bow, man. And the word is, um, yeah, he's going to get something together for, for a follow-up to Envy. So I'm excited about that. Anyway, shouts to everybody who I saw down at Return to Jungle. At that Chase and Status party, man. DJ Ron, Rap, Brocky, Fatman D, IC3, SP. Oh, everybody. It was just crazy party. Wicked party, man. Let's hope they do it again. Talking about jungle. Time for some real jungle. Ting Tonk from the album Future. Also say shouts going out to everyone who was at Jungle Mania over in Brighton last week as well. Also shouts going out to Bridge. Got 
tune's this tune's killing it right now. Everyone's talking about this one. Brand new L side. Track entitled Galang. Featuring Parley B. Gotta send this one to everyone who's gonna be at the Andy C Christmas party this coming Saturday at the Printworks. You don't know see a frisky than Mad Dink. I represent the Brian G V regard its movement. Hey Brian G, tell some boy for run where I'm free because you don't know see a better run and him can't chat to me. What be fair? No matter where you come from. And in a DJ, tell your body I say one. You're independent, I have one bag of man. I tell them the sun in the Caribbean. Tell them, girl, no matter where you come from. And in a DJ, tell your body I say one. You're independent, I have one bag of man. I tell them the sun in the Caribbean. Tell them, go long. You put a black or white or brown or cool it. Have your education, you go on a uni. Full of quality, Lord, are you have the beauty. Tell them, go long. Why can't take no liberty? Me a tea a chase butter, you have the quality Look how you are one like expensive property When you out a road car cross that a charge a day Lad you act like if I am No matter where you come from And in a DJ tell your body I say one You independent and have one Once again big big sounds from L-Side Polly B watch out for this forthcoming Philly Blunt I'm from And in a DJ tell your Gotta send this one out to everyone who's gonna be down at the Andy C party this coming Saturday The 7th of December December at the Printworks DR massive lineup again and it's another daytime party as well which I'm really loving DJs on the night of course Andy C will be doing a four hour set also you got Bensley and Bo myself Brian G Culture Shock DJ Storm and Bailey back to back Ed Rush and Optical Ariat Jackson also Junk Mail and K9 Mark Ecstasy North Base Nikki Black Market Ray Keith Randall Dillinger, Scanta, Caribbean. Uncle Dogs, Unknown Error and Contact, MC's Tom Piper, GQ, IC3, Fatman, DSP and ID. Once again, London crew, this coming Saturday, daytime party at the Printworks, Andy C's Christmas party, and we're all invited, yeah? Straight after that, I'll be heading down to Southampton for the Camo party at On A Mission. Tell you more about that in a little while. SL Atar, L Side, this is Chronic Records. Yeah. 
Gotta send this one out to all the Southampton Massive. See you guys on Saturday night on a mission camo party. I'll be down there alongside DJ Gov, Spy, Benny Page, Serial Killer. Also, MCs on the night GQ, Fearless, Swifter, Brocky, or Broxy, Lady V Dubs. And lots and lots of DJs I haven't seen. That's on a mission this coming Saturday, the 7th of December. Down there in Southampton. That place always rocks as well. So I'll be doing that straight after the Andy's Christmas party. I think I'm on at 10 o'clock down at Andy's place. At this print works in an arm. I think I'm on two or something like that in Southampton. Or three. Put it this way, they didn't get me, give me much time to get to each gig, so um, you know the crazy one on the motorway. You guys are killing me. Agents and promoters, you're killing me. 
Anyway, underneath us now, tricks and singing fats. What can I say? Wicked vibes. Also on Boxing Day, I'll be at the club cover in Cheltenham for the Basics crew alongside AMC, MC Fanton and KN. That's Boxing Day, the 26th of December. Basics, Boxing Day special. Me and you in a zone Everything else is a blur boy. I'm feeling for your diary in London as well coming up to um, Christmas on the 20th of 20th of this month I'll be at the electric in Brixton for the Mr. Traumatic Christmas Cracker I'll be doing a back to back with Serum, yeah. yeah. I've done that for a minute. Me, Serum, back to back alongside IC3 and Dusky. And um, a lot of big DJs and MCs on that night as well. That's um, M- Mr. Traumatic's Christmas Cracker at the Electric in Brixton. Catch me back to back with Serum, IC3 and Dusky. Yeah, that's something I'm going to be cutting out next year as well, back to back. Whoever thought of that? Terrible idea. Hack! Hate it! Just want to roll out, man. So watch out, promoters, because you're going to get a back. You're going to be shown the hand. The palm of the hand when um, that request comes in, because I'm not really into these back-to-back things. Man. I don't mind. Like, I love Mark Serum, and I roll out with him, man, and Frosty and all these people that they put me with. It's all love, but I just want to just roll out and just do my thing and just like, create my vibe and just build it and uh, another thing I hate with these back to backs is that you only get an hour and if you're doing back to back you only get 30 minutes and like, as DJs you know we're, we, we, all week we collect music and we practice and we just we just wait for the weekend to DJ the last thing you want to do is go out and just do 30 minutes and then wait for the next weekend to play another 30 minutes worth of tunes it's just like come on man we want to play music we want to play th- come on drive far wherever to play 30 minutes worth of tunes and come back home and like is that it? Nah, man. Come on. Let's, let's cut out this back-to-back rubbish. Anyway, I'll be rolling it hard, rolling it out proper with serum on the 20th at the Christmas Cracker down there at the Electric in Brixton.
That's right, Brian G, real warrior. Gonna wrap up this pod very shortly as well. Gonna play a squeeze, about two more. Gotta get to some. Gotta uh, run through some releases as well. Lots of stuff forthcoming from the label. Right out now, we got the. Uh, Liquid V album reshaped. 12 tracks from um, Liquid V, all remix, brand new remixes. And that's out now, um, so you can grab that now. Also, on the second of, well, out now, we got Neck Tax from the um, tracking title Blind Spot. That's out on Chronic. And that's going to be part of um, the forthcoming Chronic Rollers album that's going to be dropping early next year. And that's compiled by Slater. On the 13th of this month, we've got the Command Strange EP, the Rockin' EP played, um, I think we'll play two tracks from that in the show today, so watch out for that Command Strange EP dropping next week. Also on the 16th of this month, we've got another track um, forthcoming from the Chronic Project. This one's by Stomps, and it's entitled Broken Hardware. Didn't get time to play that one this, this time, but um, I'll play it next month. Broken Hardware by Stumps, that's going to be out. And on the 27th of this month, another release on Liquid V from Danny Wheeler. Um, That's his Utopia EP. We played a track from that as well earlier, so watch out for that. And on the 30th, we don't stop. On the 30th of this month, out on V Recordings, we got Dr. Mika, Fighter, and that's going to be the Spy remix, yeah? So that's a big, big, big remix as well from Spy, um, from Dr. Mika. So watch out for that. That's going to be dropping. Also, after that as well, we've got more things coming up before the year finish. Watch out, man. So um, that's the Dr. Mika thing dropping. And where am I? Where am I? Oh, I'm lost now. Where am I? Oh, yeah, Dr. Mika. And then we've got the um, SL8R and L side. That's also coming out. And that's part of the Chronic album. That's the track we just played about, what, half hour ago, tracking title, Look At Me. That's coming out on Chronic. And that's out on the 6th of January. On the 9th, on the 10th of January also, we've got a new Africa EP from the Beat Merchants. Talking about the Beat Merchants, here's something brand new from them. Tracking title, Little Mama. Shouts going out to Jubs Juice Man, working hard. Also, watch out the future album that's going to be dropping in February. Also, we've got some new, brand new bags that just come in. And we just restocked with the um, MA2 jackets. We sold out, but we got them brand new back in again. So if you um, wanted one of those jackets that you keep seeing me turning up in the clubs in and trying to rip it off my back, 
Yeah, that jacket, everyone's trying to rip off my back. That I can't even take off and put down properly without keeping one eye closely on it. <laughs> Just joking, guys. But um, yeah, they're back in stock as well. And lots of new stuff coming in before Christmas as well. So um, check the website. As I said, we got the new... This all you need to know, little mama. Backpack bags, I don't know what you call them, backpack bags or whatever. You know the bags that you put around your back and mama. you can just go out for the weekend and put everything in there. Also, we got bomb bags, man bags, t shirts, jumpers, every what well, it's just like everything's running down at the V store, so check it out, yeah? I'm gonna squeeze in one more after this. And I'm out of here. That's okay with you, no care with you. I wanna take time, try to spend time with your birthday suit. Bum, that's okay with you. 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 Sounds of the beat merchants doing it different as usual. Remember this coming Saturday, Andy C's Christmas party at the Steel Yard. And then straight after, you can catch me in Southampton on a mission. Camo party. On the 14th of this month, I'll be in Brighton. For the Planet V Christmas party um, at the Arch, so that's going to be mad. We always have a wicked time down there. Special guest this time we got DJ Diane Randall. Watch the ride. On the 20th, as I said, I'll be at the Electric in Brixton for Dramatics. And on the 26th, I'll be in Cheltenham. Boxing Day, I'll be in Cheltenham for Basics. On the 28th, I'll be back in London at the XOYO Club. We're doing a party at XOYO. Um, I'll be doing it with Jumping Jack Frost. You got DJ Die down there, Dub Physics, and a um, really cool lineup. So that's well worth checking out as well. That's on the 28th, XOYO. And on New Year's Eve, I'm flying out to Switzerland. I'll be in Switzerland, yeah. Fed up of running around on the motorway in London and back and forth and spending 12 o'clock on the motorway stuck in traffic so I thought I'd go away and just do it proper this year so I'm in Switzerland New Year's Eve big up my Switzerland crew I want to see all my burn crew as well make it down there you know you are Rito and all the crew let's make it happen and another one here for January on the 11th of January I'll be at Faster back at the Steel Yard big shout going out to the Faster crew that's always a proper party as well. And on the 18th, the annual Great Ormond Street Charity Party. Chill for the Great Ormond's Children Hospital. And that's happening at the Electric in Brixton. And another V night happening in Cardiff on the 25th. Also, we've got a V night at Lab 11 on the 31st of January. And we're back at Fabric for a big, big Planet V party on the 28th of February yeah so that's enough for now I think don't wanna um, overload you I'm gonna love and leave you like this yeah brand new forthcoming from DJ Andy a little Bristol style roller from him I'll see you guys next month where we kick the year off with some more fresh beats yeah hope you guys um, have a great Christmas and a great new year from myself, Brian G, and everyone at V. We just want to say um, thanks for the support. Um, it's been a great year for us at V, and it's all because of you guys. And uh, we're just going to make it better for you guys next year because um, we got some things cooking in the pot, man, and it's smelling nice. So I can't wait to um, dish it out and give you guys next year, man. But um, from myself, Brian G, and everybody at V Recordings, 
wishing you a happy Christmas and a great new year. See you guys next year. Mwah, love ya. You. you guys take care. Also as well, a lot of people have been hitting me up on my Facebook or whatever to, um, for bookings. If you want to book me, you don't book me direct. you got to um, book me through my agent, John at Urban Agency, yeah? So um, hit up John at Urban Agency or hacks for Ricky or Harry and they'll sort you out. Please, please stop hitting me up direct on my Facebook page because it's not happening. See you guys next month.